So how we doing guys and welcome, it's Kraken here. I believe, saw me jumping over there, I believe this is the same building that we did in our very first episode. Um, if not, it's the same looking building. Um, so we're going to quickly, as it was so close to us, get this episode kicked off. We're going to quickly run our way through here. Hello mama, if I could hear you coming. So we're going to quickly run our way through here because there wasn't that many zombies. Quickly see if we can sort these two. Quickly sort these two out. It is a clear, so we haven't got to worry about trying to find anything. Just literally kill everything that's in the building. So it shouldn't take too long at all. Sewing kit. The sewing kit's uh, really good in the early game to get yourself the um, extra pockets but we don't really need them as much now armor piercing rounds not something we're going to need straight away but will be good for when we're crafting bullets padded boots now they we have got some boots already so we're going to quickly take all of that if you press R it just takes everything that's in the box next to you, a bit of duct tape. If you take these apart with an axe, we haven't got a decent axe, but these will give you plastic parts. Um, so another easy and fast good way to get plastic parts. I'm not going to spend our time doing that though. Edgar. And don't forget guys, on the... I'm going to do our little trick here. As you can see at the top of the inventory, on the mini map when you've woken up some new zombies they will appear as red dots on the mini map come on hey what are you doing up there you're gonna end up making your way through bite your ankles come on down you come Come on. There we go. Right, I sorted you out. Little trick with this one, sometimes it's faster to jump over the top and if we have to come back here, we can always place another frame there. And if they're down at normal level, then they won't be able to um won't be able to knock it out. So another little quick trick. We're gonna take a bit of cloth. We are struggling a little bit with heat um, when we come to the trader, but luckily it's only when we come to the trader. We're inside at the moment, so it should be fine. Now, if we go to make a bandana, is that going to help us with our heat? Let's quickly make one. So that's got heat resistor too, so it is going to help a little bit. So... Not a lot, we do need a vest top, cowboy hat. Any money in here? Don't really like fighting you on the stairs, come on down. So as you can see, now we've gone into the new area. We've got some red dots with a little arrow. Hello, mama. So we're going to quickly jump in here, grab our frames, and put it there. So we'll stop her then coming through to us. Thirsty. Probably because we kept overheating. I got any water on me? Yeah, got water here. Don't forget this little button here just reorganises your inventory for you and stacks up anything that you might not have already stacked up right still says we've got some zombies in here let's just make our way upstairs quickly oh, what have we got hidden up here purse 
Nothing behind there. So we're up to the roof, quickly check the toilet. Murky water. Unlocked. So that's the stairs upstairs. Right. Quickly shut that down. Get all the cloth we can for the second. Bag behind here. So yes, this was the same building as we've already been in once before. Is anybody we going to be in here? No, because it's already saying return to trade at the top. Huh. Some grain alcohol. There you go, something to watch out for then. Now we should be able to walk on these little bars. There we go. Splint and a blood bag. Right, popping pills crate. Could really do with an antibiotic just in case we get infected again. What are you going to give us? 12 jars. And we can open that straight up. So we've got some chest armour. I don't think we're wearing chest armour. Oh, we are. We've got the triple mod in there. That's actually worth quite a bit of money. We might sell that. One thing to quickly note about the armour. The heavier the armour is, the more it's going to slow you down. So, until you spec into a lot of the armour, it's not worth... It's worth wearing like the padded armour, the smaller things in the early game. Which way am I going? The wrong way. Stay away from me. There we go. So I don't like to wear too much of the heavy armour until later on into the game. So here we go guys, back at the trader. And what are you going to give us as a reward? Oh, we've got an SMG here. So that's worth a good bit of money and we're probably going to keep it. That uses the 9mm rounds, that's definitely going to help us on Horde Night. And what have we got here? We've got a weighted head. Now I do believe we can put that into a couple of different couple of different tools so we're going to keep that it is used a lot for the sledgehammers any other jobs we're not going to go and do it straight away buried supplies Thing else is miles away okay, we'll work. quickly take it better not fuck this up or I'll cut your goddamn throat. and we have checked all of this so we're not going to take any of that for the second right let's get ourselves Let's quickly check that weighted hair. Can we put that in our pickaxe? Modify? Yeah, we put that in there. So don't forget, any mod you put into any weapon or any tool will increase the damage. So we take that out. We've got 12. It's given us one extra point. So if you've got some spare mods lying about, always worth putting them into things. So we're going to head now back towards our town. And start looking at where we really want to put our hall base. So here we go guys, back at the trader. Let's get ourselves inside because we are massively overheating. Right, so if you look at the mini map at the top, we have got our first airdrop came in. Now one of the things I do put in the settings at the beginning is that I mark the airdrops. There we go, just over the water, over there. I would go and get it because they can sometimes be very good, um, but we've got no room left in our inventory. Now he's offering two very good things here. Beaker, we need two of those to make a chemistry station, or an AK-47, which takes this 762 rounds. Now, I'm not... If you press escape here, because we have no spare room in our inventory, we can just quickly sell some of this stuff off to him which is what we're going to do just clear ourselves a little bit of room now is there anything else i actually want to sell i'm going to sell them there's no sell price for the blood bags okay it's just literally going to be that then be careful out there. okay your hand, but I'll bet you got this our beakers can be hard to come by so we're going to take we're going to take the beaker all the jobs are miles away so we'll take, take the next closest, but we're not going to be doing that one today. 
So I suggest that you have the airdrops marked on. And then we're going to go and pick that up later on. Now we're going to head back to the house because we're fully encumbered. Like I say, it doesn't make a difference when you're on the bike if you're fully encumbered. But we need to we need to get off and find ourselves somewhere we can start building a hall base. So guys, I did think we had already found one beaker. Um, so we now actually have the two to make the chemistry station when we find the schematic. So I'm just quickly putting a few things away now. We did keep that level one pickaxe. So we're going to put that into the forge quickly here and get that running. There we go. I'm going to leave that iron down there and get that all burning up. So we're starting to make a good deal of things in here. And we got a good build of things here. We got ourselves over 5,000 dukes now, which is going to be a help. And starting to build up quite a nice little supply of things ready for the Horde Knight to help ourselves out. So I never want to build inside a town really for making your Horde base. Now that job we actually took a minute ago was right next to us here. Now I have had a little look around. We've got a few decent buildings over here as well that are going to be worth raiding very shortly. Now I believe there was a caravan park either over here or over here. It might be this one here. I'm going to have a quick look at this building over here and this one here and see what they are. Just being on the outskirts of the town might be better for a horde base. If you're inside a town zombies can get themselves caught up on things um, which can interfere with the waves coming in because they get stuck in other buildings so never really want to, to be in the centre of a town and it can also cause a lot of lag as well. So we've got ourselves a little building here Now we might be able to do something with this. I don't recognise this building. Right, we're going to crouch down to get our sneak damage on. So because we crouched down, you saw that little sneak damage that came up at the top. That gave us two times damage. And we've got those iron crossbows now as well. Uh, iron crossbows, iron arrows now. Motion detection. Okay, quickly read that. Another medical cabinet. This tree is very annoying. So there's a bandage. It wants us to drop down there. Now, usually when they drop, when you drop down somewhere and they put stuff underneath, it means you can't nerd pole your way back up. And there we go. Stay away from my ankles, you. And that's our first loot bag drop as well. Get ourselves some coffee. So it's only a very small POI, but I think... I think we might be able to do something with this. Right, that's got rid of him. So the loot bags drop now and again, and they can sometimes have some really good stuff in it. So that's going to be worth quite a bit of money to sell back to the trader. 366. I don't think I'm going to wear a skirt. Quickly drink the coffee. Quickly scrap the wooden chairs. And we're going to need to... And I got rid of our stone axe, didn't I? to make room so that took a little bit longer than expected and we got ourselves a safe good stuff right medical supplies what have we got in here oh some more leg armor that'll be that'll be worth a lot of money if we were to sell that back to the trader if we repair it first because it's only got half durability let's quickly check the Check the bookcase. So we've got military fibre. Schematic. Just going to read that. I do like the military armour. 
This is very annoying that we don't have fire axe on us. We do need to find that fire axe as soon as possible. Hunting knife schematic. Now we do already have a hunting knife, but this way we'll be able to make our own hunting knives. And we do have a couple of lockpicks. So let's hope we have a bit more luck this time as we haven't been having that much luck recently. And we've opened it. Four lockpicks. So we've got some brass knuckles and we've got some more cash. Now I'm not going to be using the brass knuckles. So we've got the door locked. How's going to be the best way to get out of here? Door locked. Here we go. This will be the best way. There we go, guys. Top tip. Always make sure you have your axe with you to get yourself in and out of the buildings. Now, it's not a bad sized little place. Unfortunately, it is all made of wood, though. So let's just quickly check the map. What have we got? We've got some lead there. We've got this place over here. It's nice and close. Let's quickly just go and check it. This might be more worth doing because the whole building is made of brick. So a couple of cars we can quickly check. And I think this, just on the outskirts, a few more lockpicks, ideal. So we did just use four. Drinks machine, not usable. Okay. Because we can brick up these areas here. Take this down at the back. I think this is going to be take this down and build ourselves a platform on top. Right, so quickly scrap those down. I believe these spots here that you can see on the floor are slightly different. Do knock out, which can be just a little bit of a pain. Still see him. Yep, let's try the old sneak damage again. Didn't kill him, but it would have definitely weakened him a little bit. Nothing in the water cooler. So watch out for that spot there. Oh, you can jump. I didn't think white man could jump. See, one hit, done. Just like our home base, the zombies can jump onto a ladder here, so you need to leave two clear spots. So we're going to go to there, jump ourselves on. Why is that stopping us there? I don't know if that sign has something to do with it. Yeah, might be seeing it as a block. Yeah, we're going to have to spell beer a little differently. There we go. Oh, hello. What are you up to, love? What are you doing with my blocks? Right. Oh, and some secret loot up here. Maybe some zombies in there. Oh, hello. No, I didn't know this was on the roof at all, actually. Hello. Keep out your way. Build up some stamina. Oof, 
come on. Right. Quickly use a bandage. Anything in here? No. Okay. Medical supplies. Chest. Oh, we've got some cooling mesh. We've got a hood. And we've got some sham. Hopefully some tin food. No, I don't think we want the sandwich. So this we can actually put onto our clothes and it will help keep us cooler. So we'll put that put that into our arm armor, armor to begin with. What have we got here? Crazy Jake, read that. Kill some some female zombies, right? Not a problem. So this is going to be our horde base, I think. Now, when you're building, everything does have structural integrity, so you need to be very careful when you're building things. You will sometimes get things float in the game. Now, in theory, this should fall when I take out the last when I take out the last block, because there will won't shouldn't be anything. I don't think holding this up. You don't want to be underneath it because you do take full damage. Ooh. Okay, didn't even wait till the last one. That was because there was too much weight on it. So quickly take these out. Get ourselves a bit of wood. Perfect, right. We're going to quickly take out these windows. So stone we can get very easily from these boulders here or mining underground but we're going to quickly take that apart now cobblestone we can get from those blue sacks that we found in some of the POIs already um, but that's back at the base so I'm just going to quickly knock up one of these for the second to get ourselves started now, I never like to dig holes too close to the base because then you can get yourselves stuck in them so I only ever go one deep so you're not going to get your bike stuck in them. Let's quickly see what the ratio is. Cobble. Cobblestone rocks here. So it's one for one. So 78, how much stone have we actually got on us? Oh, we've got plenty of stone, so we're going to dig ourselves up a little bit more. We want flagstone blocks. And we want 14 of those, and we'll craft the cobblestone afterwards. And we need the cobblestone because we want to upgrade them to make them stronger. Now with this, we do have this symbol on top of them, this little symbol here, same as we have with these. If we were to hold down R and press on shape, we can make all these different shapes. So just a little pro building tip for you there. Now you, we used to have to make these separately in the past. Now we can literally click on this and go to the different shapes. Now we do want them just as square blocks. So we're not going to be changing the shape. But no doubt later on down the line we will be. So I say zombies can blow up the cars by hitting on them. And that would create two great big holes here. So we are going to wrench those out and get everything away from the front of our base. Right click onto here. Now this is using some of the cobblestone we just made, 10 per block. So it's a little purse. Empty. We've got a bit of stuff here in the back, as well as a zombie. Did you get too drunk in the bar? Will you come out here for a snooze? Right, we are going to have to take these dumpsters out because it's something else that they can climb onto. Take ourselves some pills. Any free gas? No. Okay, so I'm basically going to take out the things that could be a threat to us. So you can hear the crickets in the background. It is getting later on at night. This we should be safe to work on 
throughout the night time anyway because we have got a ladder straight to the side so if we have any issues we can just jump ourselves up onto the roof so you've got to be a little bit careful and we do have our bike as well but I am going to need to go back and eat at some point as you can see where stamina is getting quite low doing all this manual labour I'm going to quickly take this apart get some mechanical parts, get some fuel get ourselves plenty of springs there's a bit of plastic there as well There we go, three bits of forged steel. And I swear I saw some forged iron in there as well, and there's the forged iron. Perfect, right. How are we doing for cobblestone? Not much cobblestone left. And at some point, I am going to make a way to get down from the roof into, into the inside of the building here. Ooh! Right, now we want to wear these. Now the, these lucky goggles give us a plus nine loot bonus and help us with our buried treasure, even though we're finding it very easy anyway. So we're going to put those on straight away. Right, here we go. So I'm going to put myself a little storage box inside here and quickly empty off a few things. Go down in our stack down here. Right, there we go. A few things just to get ourselves going, and what we need here is the wooden bars. We don't want the centered ones, we want the normal ones. I'm just going to quickly show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some of this off camera, but I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing so you guys know. So, I think we're going to put it at probably about that height. So if I keep my finger on R, we can go to all the different types of rotation here. We're going to go to advanced rotation, and all you do is when you hover over it then take your finger off R and that will give us every type of rotation and that's what we're looking for now we're going to have the same issue with these uh, these letters are actually taking up the square underneath so we are going to have to knock those out right now what we can do here is hover over this bar here keep our finger on R and press copy rotation and that will put us straight back to the block that we've just placed we do that we're going to need to knock these out apologies if it's starting to get a bit dark I had turned the gamma up a little bit now I'm going to see if I can knock those out from the roof and tomorrow the first thing we're going to do is try and find ourselves a fire axe. So I'm pretty sure you get the gist of what I'm doing over here. Going to build our blocks out like this. And this is where we're going to be fighting the zombies from up here. Through these bars we can use our bow and arrow. And we can shoot down. They will go through through the bars. And as we can see by this demonstration here, there we go. They can't get up to us. I'm going to take my arrows back. There we go. Repair him. And basically we're going to build this all the way around. This base is a little bit bigger than I would normally start for the Day 7 Horde. 
but you know it's what we've got here to use it's already a brick building rather than a wooden building so we may as well utilize it it's just on the outskirts of the town quite close to our home base you never know um, by day 14 we might have moved everything over to here and started making this our home base so i'm going to leave this episode here i'm going to carry on just quickly doing this through the night so i've shown you everything that i am going to be doing to the to the base and when we come back in the morning we start the next episode hopefully i should have all these bars all the way around all the way around here at the same height um, we're gonna probably gonna have to take out that staircase get rid of a few of these things clear the place up a little bit and carry on from there so please give it a like if you've enjoyed the episode um, any comments or any thoughts again always down in the comments section and we'll catch you guys in the next episode take it easy guys see you later Yeah.